Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. I'm excited about this video. I'm anxious to share with you guys this gameplay footage. Basically yesterday after the Bungie reveal stream where they were talking about Age of Triumph, I fired up my stream and just started pulling in random people from chat uh, just to play some sixes. So this is not like a, a group of full try hard, but we're just a ragtag group of people from the stream and uh, <laughs> Towards the end of the stream, I, I was firing on all cylinders, and I had two back-to-back -back matches in two different lobbies where I got, uh, we ran out of metals. So this first one is on dungeons, and I'm going to show you both of these uh, we ran out of metals. So this first one is on dungeons, and it was a straight-up 25-0, and 0, Mark of the Unbroken, so had a pretty massive match, and uh, had some really good plays in it. So I'm anxious to share those with you guys. The second one uh, was on Icarus. So two maps that I'm really not a huge fan of, <laughs> to be honest. But check this out. It's a quick little uh, yellow <laughs> with a snipper. But the uh, yeah, second one was on Icarus, and that one was a... Uh, uh, it was an Unbroken, but I decided I really just wanted to go ham after I got the, the, the We Ran Out of Metals. Maybe see how, how many more kills I could get, but I got shut down. Uh, after a super usage uh, around, I think it was 28 kill streak. But anyways, so here's the thing about this: is this is on a Sunbreaker with I'm not using sticky grenades. I'm not using any ammo cheesers in my loadout. There's no sidearm, no no land beyond, no icebreaker. It's just some good old fashioned hand cannon sniper. And I had a blast doing it. It was honestly a lot of fun. I managed my green well. I picked my engagements well. So. If you're ever curious as to how you can maximize your chances of getting things like we ran out of medals or maybe even setting your standards a little bit lower and getting the 10, 15 kill streaks a little bit more consistently, there's a lot of things that you can do, a lot of practices that you can have that are going to help maximize your chances. And in fact, way back in year one, I, I did make a video that was one of my more popular ones that I made when I was a very young YouTuber, and it was on uh, how to get kill streaks in the Crucible. Uh, so if I could, I'll probably just go back and try and find that link and drop it in the description for you uh, as I post this. But um, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm being very cautious about the engagements I'm choosing to uh, pursue. So sometimes I'm actually going, you're going to see me just use the garrison to bug out of a bad situation and, and get back towards my teammates. So another thing that I'm doing is you've already seen me cap a couple of objectives in the gameplay. So I'm, I'm definitely playing the objective, but sometimes what I'll do is if there's already two or three people on the objective point that are my teammates, what I'll do is I'll stand off to the side and try and help take aggro because people are going to be gunning for that, uh, for the cap point itself. So I don't want to be just another blip on the cap point, maybe bunch up too much for a super and you see a couple of guys get hit by that smash. A little bit earlier in the gameplay on the on the cap point so you want to try to avoid that kind of read the radar and maybe uh, jump off of the objective point for a hot second just to get a kill and then come back to it. this was like a really nice I was I had a couple of nice breakers here that were could have potentially been Reapers if the kills hadn't been uh, just a little bit you know as spread out as they were so could have had some pretty solid uh, multi kills above and beyond the breaker too but uh, I'll take what I can get Here's the very end. I, I, I'm looking at the scoreboard and I'm like, I know I'm running out of time. I gotta wrap this up. So I'm going a little bit more aggro here and trying to push up and manage the uh, the bottlenecks that they're coming out of. Sure enough, get that we ran out of medals, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I push up to get a couple more kills uh, to see if I can't get more. At, at this point, I really didn't know that I was still unbroken. So I push up and, and try and get some more gunplay in. I saw that unbroken. I was like, yeah, yeah. So I get that little melee kill at the end there. And uh, it ends up being a double kill just because the guy that, that killed me was standing in the sunspot of the kill that I got first. So it burned him out. So I got that crispy, oh, we ran out of metals, 25 and 0. Uh, if you're counting after the buzzer, then 27 and 1. But 25 and 0 right there on the boards for the unbroken felt really, really good. I haven't gotten a we ran out of metals in probably... I'm gonna say two months because I, I guess honestly I, I I never really I never intentionally go for it I, I just kind of I tend to in sixes play really recklessly like I, I do a lot of clip hunting in sixes so I'm just kind of like throw my body in there and pull the trigger and see what happens so I go for quick scopes and no scopes when it's not the right decision just to try and you know do something flashy 
So I, I never really play. Well, and even in this game, you see I'm playing aggressively, but I'm also playing cautiously. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking my battles a little bit better. I'm not just throwing my body out there and pulling the trigger like I tend to do in sixes. So anyways, that, that combination of both aggressive and conservative turned out in my favor. And you see a couple times like there, I, I probably could have finished that kill off, but I saw a lot of red on the radar on my flank, and I was like, you know what? Even if I get that kill, I'm probably going down. So let me just bug out. Uh, I won't overly commit to a kill. I'll just leave the guy that I bodied. I'll leave him be and pull uh, all these red dots on the radar. I'll pull them back towards my teammates up on B. And we kept B controlled as a team very, very well throughout this match, which is one of the reasons that I was teed up to get a, a second we ran out of medals. So this was, there was, I think, five minutes of downtime in between that last we ran out of medals match and this match. Uh, we had a teammate of ours got booted. He had to restart his his um, his application, restart Destiny, rejoin in, and then we had to requeue. So we got a completely different lobby, but uh, I was still kind of in the zone. And uh, I switched. I realized I was like, why why am I using such a crappy heavy weapon? So I was like, well, I'll just throw on that Nemesis Star since I'm not using anything exotic. Turned out to be the right call. I got I think I got three or four kills with the Nemesis Star. Uh, during the heavy wave so I'm kind of zipping back and forth and Honestly, I probably shouldn't have rechallenged that sight line. There were two guys there. I got one picked But um, I knew that the other guy was already there and set so if he had a sniper He probably could have been able to just dome me because I was hurt So I shouldn't have double peeked I did it and then I realized my mistake and then I just bugged out and went around the flank and and took a different angle so Here we go got that nemesis star I'm getting hungry for some keels and uh, I was trying to avoid that angle right there where I just got that snipe. I was trying to avoid that as much as possible just because a lot of times you jump up there and there's a guy sort of on the mirror side on that same little podium over there where I just sniped that guy. There's a lot of times there's guys over there, but they're, if they get set before you, then you could really be setting yourself up to take some unnecessary damage or maybe an unnecessary death. So... Uh, but it, I got lucky. <laughs> a little bit of these we are out of metals. A little bit of it is honestly luck sometimes. Sometimes you just you do just get lucky. Um, you know, you were in the right place at the right time a lot of times. Um, but you also played well and you played smart. So this was a hammer usage that I thought was uh, going to be poor. I went to the left here because I figured there's no way I'm going to catch that guy that bugged out to the right. So. I changed directions, it could have been a bad uh, hammer of soul usage, but I end up pushing up top and getting a triple. Guy self reses and I'm like, nope, I nope the crap out of there. <laughs> so I didn't, I saw the, I heard the animation, I heard um, the self res sound and my screen started to go white like it does when people are using um, the purifier robes. So I was like, nope, I ain't about that life. I was on a solid kill streak, and I didn't want it to go down the hill. So, and I knew I didn't have anything to shut him down with, so I, I bugged out. So, and then I come right back. Uh, my teammates actually dropped a Nova on that guy, kept B under lockdown, and then uh, we're able to keep doing some work. As as they're flooding to the B location to try and get some map control, we kind of punish them for it. And uh, I know at this point that I'm getting real close to that. We ran out of medals. I know I'm on like a 20 streak. So I'm playing a little bit more aggressive. I kind of run up there, get a quick pick, and then run back to regenerate my health and shields. And I know I'm getting close to that super usage, so I'm kind of playing for the super. Uh, kind of hanging back, letting my teammates take a little bit of aggro, shooting over their shoulders, which is often the right way to play sniper, is to uh, allow your teammates to take aggro. And then, so you can avoid the flinch, as they have aggro, you can shoot over their shoulders and do a lot of really good team fire, honestly. So I actually get, a, I end up with a lot of assists playing that way because a lot of times I'm just I get a body shot and my teammates shoot over their shoulder and uh, clean it up but anyways there's the two we ran out of medals uh, if you want the unedited version just the full matches uh, it's I've got it as a highlight on my twitch channel so if you just go to my twitch channel and you click on highlights uh, in the video section you can see those two matches in their um, in their entirety so hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay guys and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in the crucible